Hey, what's going on internet? Joshua Noel from Sunduck Film. Thank you for clicking on this video. In this tutorial, we'll be talking about how to create a 3D logo inside of After Effects using Element 3D. So you'll be able to take a JPEG or a PNG of a logo and prepare it to you know, make it a 3D logo inside of After Effects. So here's a PNG of my logo and we have to do a little bit of pre-work in Photoshop before we can go over to After Effects and make this a 3D logo. And trust me, this will make it a lot easier and you should attempt to do this every time. Um, if you have a JPEG or a PNG file. So what we'll do is we'll go open with Photoshop. And here's in Photoshop. And then all we need to do is go to select all, edit, copy, and then go file new. And then we need to make the width and height the same uh, size as our After Effects composition. So 1920 by 1080 will do and click OK. And then we'll click edit, paste. And here's our logo right inside of Photoshop. And we need to scale this one down, so I'll go to Edit, uh, Transform, Free Transform. And I'll just go ahead and scale this down real fast. And I'll just put this in the center. Okay. And then all we need to do is get rid of the background, and then we'll go ahead and go to File, Save As. And we will want to save this as our texture. So PSD, dot, no, texture.psd. Click save. Then we'll go to the levels adjustment and we'll, we're going to want to make this logo black. And even though this is a circle, so I really don't really need to do this, but on most logos, you're going to want to make your logo completely black because we're going to trace it in After Effects. And having a black logo will make it a lot easier. So this is going to be more of our plate and mask. So I'll go up to file, save as, and I'll call this one mask.psd. And we're done with Photoshop. Then we can jump over to After Effects. I'm going to make a quick new comp. I'm going to call this tut. 921 by 108 that's great. Okay, then we need to import our files. Now let's take our mask and texture PSD, right, drag it in and put it into our comp. Okay, and here's our two layers. I'm going to click on the mask layer. I'm going to go to layer, auto trace. And you're going to want to mess with the tolerance. Depending on your logo, if you have a complex logo that has a lot of edges, uh, you might want to use one tolerance. If you're using a circle logo like mine, three will do just fine. So I'll click three and click OK. And we, as you see, we have our points going around our circle. So we have a mask going around my logo here. And then we're pretty much ready to get started on the 3D part. So go to create a new layer. So go to layer, new, solid. And I'll call this one element. And go to effect, video copilot, element. All right, then I'll go to custom layers, click the first drop down here, path layer one, make sure I click the mask layer, and then go to the second drop down here for texture maps and click on texture. And then I can click on scene setup and then just click extrude and here's our circle. And then I could click on, we want to do bevel cough bees two, click on the first bevel and go to diffuse for textures and drop down the load textures and click our custom layer one texture PSD. And here it is all messed up, but that's okay. We'll click use layer as UV. And there it is, it's perfectly on our circle. We have a 3D logo here. Uh, we gotta do quick fixes because uh, as you see, you get the back, the back layer here is kind of coming through and that's easy to fix. So I'll go to Z offset and I'll just raise that up just a little bit. And that's pretty much perfect. Then we can click on the second bevel here and you know, I could throw on a texture. Um, I'm gonna go to my pro shaders and I'm gonna go ahead and select a nice little texture. Uh, maybe metal. And then we have to just expand the edges a little bit. And you know, there we have a 3D logo. And click OK. And here it is inside of our composition. Okay, here's our logo in our composition. I'm going to go to World Transform, Rotation, and as you see, we can rotate our logo, pretty much do whatever we want with it. Usually what I do right away before I animate is I hit the stopwatch for position X, Y, position Z, and rotation X, Y, Z, and then I hit U on my keyboard with my layer selected, and here's my five keyframes, and what I'll do is I'll just, you know, move these keyframes to one second, and then I will start, you know, playing around with the rotation you know, start animating the rotation here and then bring the logo past the screen. And then we have a very simple animation coming in. And then maybe select my end keyframes and hit F9 so it comes to a nice stop. 
And just a quick tip, one thing you should do when your logo is created, uh, because sometimes the your logo will lose some you know, uh, light. It'll seem a little bit darker than normal. Then what we, what we could do is go to Layer, New, Light, and click OK. And then hit P on our keyboard, bring up position, and scale up the light. So now our logo is exposed properly. And that's how you create a 3D logo in After Effects. And I kind of got carried away a little bit and created my own scene here. However, I will be posting a tutorial on creating your own scene in the near future. So until then, please subscribe if you haven't already. Please drop a like down below. It would definitely help me a lot. And I love doing this stuff. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment. And I will try to reply as soon as possible. And guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon.